Call me the looker. I've been looking low and high. Don't get to get what I'm after till the day I die. Hey, Justin, name that band. I'll give you, I'll give you five seconds to name that band. We're playing The Looker today, a puzzle game recommended to me by many people that is free on Steam. It is um, a, a parody of The Witness, which speaks to me because I like the, uh, well, I like what I played of The Witness, but I only played like an hour of it. And then I watched somebody, well, I watched Corey play through like the end of it and was like, oh, I'm not going to do that. You're crazy. So it's nice that I get the opportunity to maybe experience the, the satire of it without putting in all the effort for the original, okay? I'm ready. I'm insanely bad at puzzles, by the way, so get ready. Maybe I should just start being more positive. I'm insanely good at puzzles. Um, I'm chess puzzles at the very least. Remember, like, did you see that someone tweeted me and said, pop quiz, what's one of the two winning moves you can make in this situation? And then I said, well, at a cursory glance, I think king to g3 would be the best move. And then they said, yes, that's correct. And then I looked at the position more closely later that night, and I was like, I don't think that's correct at all. I think, they, I, I think that we would get blown out with that move. I think that I was... Honestly, I think they were just play, paying lip service to me. Okay, start and end. I can do this. We'll draw from the start to the end. He's insane. I told you I was good at puzzles. Start and end, okay? Easy mode. Start and end, okay? It's getting a little trickier. I don't, I don't have the steadiest hand. So that's, that's tough for me, I've got to be honest. You ever do those, um, it's not a puzzle, but it's like a, a test of physical steadiness where you have like a metal ring and then there's like a, a metal uh, pipe and you have to use the ring to go around the pipe without touching the, the pipe at all or it goes, Meh. I cannot do that shit at all, at all, at all. I don't know if I got shaky hands or it's just a shape rotating type. Uh, you know, there's partly some impa impatience involved for sure. Like, I'm like, oh, this is going to take forever. Can I click on the book? Okay, hold on. What's going on here? Let's analyze the position. I'm going to tell you, I think um, black has a superior position based on um, the fact that they have a queen. That's my prediction of that one. I'm going to say that black can win that game easily. Just taking a look around. You can use shift to run. That's helpful. Father, I cannot click the book. Based boomer humor. We need to turn the power on here. Follow the, the damn electrical pipes. Start and end. Okay. He's insane. Oh, we got another one. He's done it. I might just set a world record, man. Spent a lot of time reading cereal boxes as a kid. So this is all uh, second nature. Oh, dude! The, the shortest possible path around. What the hell's going on up here? You could draw around the puzzle. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm like a, I'm very much like a conformist. I don't even think about that stuff. Excuse me? Through it many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for, but never finding. Better whoa, 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 whoa. An APR on certified pre-owned vehicles for trucks tougher than a drunk Marine come to Mike's... Holy cow. Through many births. Don't. Oh, I have Jesus. On and on. <laughs> Sorry. Searching I thought it would stop it. Never finding. Better deal than 0% APR on certified pre-owned vehicles. For trucks tougher than a drunk Marine come to Mike's pre-owned. Where we do the things that get things done. Check it out. He's insane. Thanks for the assist on that one, chat. 
He's incredible with it. Hold on, I can do this. You ever see the episode of Ugly Delicious where David Chang and Seth Rogen get lost in the Van Dusen Botanical Gardens hedge maze? This is not possible to do the old-fashioned way. It can't be done. There you go. That's why you got to think outside the bun. What the hell? I need like a special pen or something. It's not doable. No, because I don't respect David Chang. You momofuku, you, you, why you don't respect David Chang? You momofuku, you. David Chang is a celebrity chef who owns a chain of restaurants called Momofuku. I'm going to say that the next move is King. Okay, never mind. Plus two. Plus, two. okay. That's just a joke about celebrity chefs. Stop. Do not come in. Wait. Where does it say end? Okay, you got me. You got, I, dude, I think I can make it through that. Okay. We can do this. Just don't get flustered. Don't get flabbergasted. You can figure it out. What on earth? Follow the, the pipes backwards. We got we to gotta do something with this thing. I don't even want to think about that. Some Indiana Jones shit here. Who knows what's going on on the damn chessboard? Dude, you know what? Maybe, maybe we can do that one. Hold on. Hold, oh, I don't know. It's just flavor text, but... Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things... No item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home. And even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table. A fond memory in a recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head, and when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Oh, it's a scam email! Truly, Marco. Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, it <laughs> looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. <laughs> the court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. Incredible. Honestly, it's like Dan Carlin is in the room with us right now. This shit is impossible. What if I just trick the system? This shit is not possible. Not possible. Not what? 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 Okay, hold on. Now that was unexpected. An actual maze. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just gonna sneak right by you. I'm lost. Hold on. I'm lost. I was never really like a maze guy in school. It was much more like, hey, when I finish my, my work, just give me like one of those worksheets with all the... Uh, like the multiplication tables on them, and I'll just do them as fast as I can. Oh, man, what the hell? The whole game is mazes. Where's end? 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 (laughs) 
How about how about one of these? Did you hear that? Did you hear it go? Bleep? It's somewhere over here. Beep. That was a loud beep. 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 It's not there. Somewhere over. <laughs> He's too good. What about over here? Beep. It's so loud. Beep. 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 I'm on a damn wild goose chase. You're right there. I mean, beep. <laughs> beep. 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 I'm, uh, dude, I'm beep. dying. Beep. Beep. Beep, yes, beep. Beep. I don't like his intonation, man. Beep. Beep. It's beep. not connected? What do you mean it's not? How could this not be connected? Beep. Oh. Beep. Beep. The whole beep. thing is colored. There's no way that's not connected. Are you crazy? Yes. <laughs> beep. Beep. You haven't found it yet? He said yes! Beep. Oh! I right clicked! Beep. 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 Shut up, shut up! I'm getting there. Beep. Beep, you're so close. Beep. Beep. Beep, you're, you're right there. Beep, you're right there. I mean, beep. Beep, come on, beep. 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 Beep, yes, beep. Beep. You think it's up here? Beep. beep. Dude, this is like the most frustrating thing I've ever yes. experienced. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, this is much easier. Thank you. Thank you. That was, uh, that was an exercise in laboriousness. What? Wasn't connected. Kind of went a little, did a little corner cut there. I'd like to apologize for that. I'm gonna hear those beeps in my damn nightmares. What the hell? Okay. Follow the, just follow the pipe, man. Pipe comes in, goes out here. Comes into this thing, but this one's not done yet. The chessboard has a puzzle. You know what I'm realizing here? There's a white ring around the outside. Nope, okay. Maybe some of the pieces have a start and an end on them. Maybe it says start and end on some of them. I don't think so. What about this, though? Hint. You can do it. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Can I get up to the top yet? I can. I wish I could jump and just see what's going on at least. I don't have a rook anymore. Mm, how droll. I don't have a rook anymore. Classic NLX Dan. 
reference. Okay, it's dude, it's just like the witness. Sometimes you don't know what's happening. You just got to chill out for a second and be like, okay. Just let the puzzle come to you in your brain. Let the puzzle come to you. This one's not done yet because we need to finish that thing. Chessboard is not done yet. We need this. We, we need to do the chessboard, man. So that we can activate the the golden cube. Do not come in. You know what I'm thinking? S to E. Oh, I was so sure. That that was gonna, like, I was gonna feel like a damn genius. I was 100% confident that was gonna open the door. Wait a minute, wait a minute. S. E. S. E. I was like, where's the other E in understand? Oh no, here we go. How am I gonna get it over top of this, man? Maybe I can, maybe I can get it to drip over? I can get it to drip. Dude, this is... <laughs> okay. Okay, the knight has moved. Uh, okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> I missed this part of the witness. Jonathan Blow would never, man. <laughs> Did it scare me a little bit? Yeah. It scared me a little bit, okay? There's no shame in that. <laughs> okay. Dude, honestly, I wish you could beat the puzzles like that. There was text on the... Wait, what text where? Read the text? You give me a gun, I'm not reading any more text. Expensive. Please do not scratch, thank you. Alright, what, you know? So what? You shouldn't have scared me. There's no words on it. That's very original. Okay, oh, alright. You need me to do something artistic? How about like a damn bunny rabbit? Now you have too many loops. How about two loops? No, try putting some more loops on it. Okay, um, you know what? Let's go four loops. I like loops too, but this is too many. Okay, I'm gonna say three loops is probably the magic number. It simply must have more loops. I'm gonna say three loops. Four loops. Cut down on the loops. Cut People down on the loops. One, two, three. <sighs> hey, thank you, finally. Could we? Could we? We can't. Don't make fun of my loops. I was doing my best. I'm making a birdhouse. Can I see the chessboard now from above? 
a sane angle? No, no, I cannot. Not really. Anything cool through the telescope? Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh, God! Ah! Why did I do that? Great bait? Great bait. Oh. You got me. I was gonna, even when I was looking at the telescope, I was like, it's pointed directly at the sun. I should have known better. Chessboard? Not quite, not quite. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Easy? How about this? It w maybe the lines can't cross. He's insane. You got to take a look. Okay, I would love to hear your little voice snippet. Let's see. Maybe you could just leave. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that his belief in the safety I'm just of waiting. was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his... Okay, this one's a little bit too much like the witness. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. False. Grandmaster Bobby Fischer. <laughs> well, you know what? I am glad that I said false then. Guy had a lot of bad opinions. I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. Bobby Fischer? World champion, Bobby Fischer. Yes, okay. <laughs> Very clever. Successful, successful joke. How about start, end? Start, end. Start, end. Easily, like, the most unnecessarily complicated mate you could have mustered here, I'm sure. But you know what? Whatever. We've done it. Does that, has, have we activated the damn cube now? Dude, Bobby Fischer's, like, the most famous chess player. You should look up some more um, of Bobby Fischer's incredible quotes. They're, they're very noteworthy. Before you go standing Bobby Fischer on social media... He had a lot of opinions. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, oh, but here the we master go. cannot perceive the board as the novice does. A master cannot see the bishop on e3 as a chunk of dead wood any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colors and shapes. The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. International Master Stuart Rachel's The Reviled Art. I didn't catch all that. I'm just going to be honest. Okay. The, the board is not solved yet. We have one more puzzle. Okay, finally. Jesse, what the hell are you talking about? This is the hardest maze of all. Just kidding.
<laughs> Me waiting for my damn Domino's order. Salty Captain Sammy's kids menu. Hmm. Well, to be honest, if I'm getting anything on the menu here, it's got to be chicken tendy. I definitely do not want a tuna pizza. Maybe the calamari burger could be okay. The deluxe cheddar mac, but pretty sure. Ah, pulled long pork wrap. It's human beings, uh, human beings served with a fava bean medley. I get it. <laughs> Hannibal Lecter. Well, oh, how droll. Uh, Silence of the Lambs reference in 2022. What's next? The reference to um, the Old Testament? Perhaps you could do a scene with Matrix-style bullet time, as long as we're playing all the hits. Perhaps you could say, I see dead people work in a Haley Joel Osment quote. Unbelievable. Act one complete. I'm free. I don't want to go into the hedge maze, man. It's a real maze. Okay. I'm not good at the real mazes. I don't like the feeling of being in a hedge maze, to be honest with you. Like, I've been in hedge mazes and corn mazes and stuff like that. But, like... I don't like any leisure activity where, like, you can't just leave. Like, if you're not enjoying yourself, you still gotta, like, you gotta see it through to the completion. In an escape room? Well, I mean, like, in an escape room, you could just frickin'... You could just bounce. I'm sure at any point, if you were in an escape room, you could just, like, pick up the phone and be like... Hey, can you let me out? I'm like, I'm motion sick. They would be like, sure, you're the customer. What? That's not good enough. Okay, you know what? It's not connected. What do you mean it's not connected? Do you hear breathing? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, next one. Easy mode. You gotta connect all the symbols. The moon and the hourglass. Really makes you think. I actually feel like I'm like five years old right now. It's not connected. You? What? How does it feel? I mean, honestly, until I failed one, I felt like I was kind of patronized. Order matters. Okay. Then it's very simple. You go circle, triangle, hourglass. What, you thought I wasn't paying attention to the geometry? It's based on the number of vertices. When given a choice, at least. I'm not so good at the drawing part. That's the, Honestly, I think the main reason I've never been a, a good artist is just my impatience. Are we not? This is the start, is it not? Like, I think the thing that separates, like, a, a good artist from a bad artist, at least at, like, the foundational level, is, um, are you patient? And I am not patient. 
even as a child, if I had to like draw a line, I would just draw it as fast as possible. I would not color in the lines. Always be like, yeah, I could color in the lines, but it would take so long. So why don't I just color outside of the lines instead? Patience is key. Everything starts out as shit. And that's from Jay, spoken like a true artiste, a true designer. Okay, you know what, chat? I appreciate the help there. You helped me out a lot. Go from S to E. What? Okay, not necessary. What about from E to S? Same shit, different day. Ain't nothing good in the hood. I'd run away from this and never come back if I could. Look at the shield. Okay, I'll go look at the shield. The shield, the shield, the shield, the shield. I'm looking at the shield. I am examining the shield. Beautiful shield. I'm looking at the sword. I'm looking at the sun. I got my 45 on so I can rock on. You missed the puzzle? Yeah, no, I, that does not surprise me. You know, I think that was all optional, but at least I got a chance to learn something. I learned about the, about the shape matrices. What the hell? Oh, no. I thought we were at the end. Like I saw that that cottage over there, I thought we were I thought we were free. SE Tech support You gotta go back to the castle wall? But why? Hold on, just take the long way. The wood platform? I don't know what any of that means, okay? Just n needlessly context-free hints. Wood platform. Okay, we're back at the start. If you follow the left path, it leads you to the church pews. <clears throat> I don't want that. There is no other exit on a maze. Are you? T it's a maze where you just go back to the start. You did everything in there. That's a damn troll, man. I don't respect that. You troll me? Go back to the castle walls. Okay, well, I will. Well, I will. Well, I will. Check this out. Go on, get... Don't look at me. <laughs> it's Oscar the Grouch. Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll tell you my story. Emotional weather report? It was June the 8th, 1947. Gray morning, slightly foggy. Back when you got a good one. All right. That's enough of that. Okay, follow the pipes. The pipes. The pipes. We got to go back up on the castle walls. Back up. Back up. I don't need to hear his story. I'm sure it's all... Everybody's got a story, okay? He should be listening to my story. I was at Urgent Care yesterday. Okay, new puzzles. 
It's Sea of Thieves. Amazing. I bet I need to hit the ship. What if we go end to start instead? Blind, blind, blind. Change where the crosshair is aiming. So you could just look through it. <laughs> That's the, that should not be how that works. That's not how physics works. If your sight is aimed wrong, just change the position of your eyeball. Who made this? Maybe we got to get them all. Incredible. Honestly, like I'm kind of insane with it. For a free game, this is kind of an incredible piece of work. This is free? I know, it's kind of crazy. And not with added microtransactions. I missed. Not yet, anyway. There we go. That's perfect. Oh, there's one more out there. <laughs> perfect. There's two more? Am I blind? It's behind the island? How can you see this? Oh, behind the island on the right? I still don't see it. It's, it's, it's behind the middle island? Middle island right side. You guys are crazy. This thing should be open right now. I'm going down. I think I'm being lied to. I think the door just opened up and I'm being lied to. I think I was, I, I've become a free thinker. Easy mode. Please, no, no episodes of Cosmos, please. Okay, that, that was just a shortcut, unfortunately. <clears throat> Bro, stop bringing up the Road Rage video. Oh my God. It's so insulting. It's been posted like 25 times on my subreddit now. People are like, oh my God, it looks just like him. That dude has like 60 pounds on me. It's crazy. I can see we, we're both bald. And we have sort of a similar face shape. But not like identical. I would like to power this on, please. You just don't want to admit it? No, you don't, like, to be honest with you, you don't know what I look like as well as I do. You're hitting me with a Clint Stevens OMG, he does. But you, what you don't realize is that it's, base, it's just two white bald guys, and you're like, this is the same guy. I did, the, the only post I liked was the one that was like POV, you made a game with no damage upgrades in it, and it was the guy going, hey, yo, hey, yeah, yeah, come on, get out. 
That's the one where I was like, that's at least it's it's made it into some humor. All the other ones are just like, wow, look at NL in this road rage video. Just stop. The last ship. You guys are so up your asses. Can I get like a... Can I get a spyglass or something? Just play Snack? Dude, I don't even... This, the Snack cabinet was not even on. It has no power. Oh, wait a minute. You motherfucker. Very clever. Oh, no. I didn't leave myself enough room. He's done it. Okay, hold on. We can do this. We'd be way better off using less diagonals. I think this might be a restart. <laughs> oh no, I, I can't make it. Reset me, reset me. Okay. Okay, this time we got it. Put me low, low and slow. Ooh. Low and slow. Low and s look at this. You've already lost? You're crazy. I'm like probably the best player this game's ever seen. Some of you didn't grow up in the Nokia age, and it shows. It's okay. It's okay, they just said we just need perfect... <laughs> what the hell? I can't even get out of it! Out of the damn start! Okay, maybe... Leave space on the walls. Stick to the interiors, leave space on the walls. Try not to take the exact wall. Go slower. Leave yourself a little corner. This one's perfect. Even worse? What the what the hell are you talking about? Even worse. This one's incredible. Just gotta be very patient with this one. Gotta leave yourself a corner. A corridor, I should say. Now we can get wherever we need to go. Oh no, oh no. What are you talking about? Oh no! I'm gonna make a gamble. That this is the last time we're gonna need to be down here. Please. We've come so far. Hey! Okay. Stop telling me about the last boat, man. You know, you know as well as I do, there's no other boat up there. People are like, I've seen it, I've seen it. Dry land is not a myth. I have seen it. Ponytail, thanks a lot, Mac edition. Honestly, hilarious. Um, I do have to say, I thought that that was the uh, Capcom sound sting from uh, the Super Nintendo era, and that reminded me. Kate brought her Sega Genesis Mini to our in-laws' place when we were there this weekend, 
And my sister-in-law was like, oh, it has Street Fighter 2. That was my favorite game. And my brother-in-law said, oh, I'll play you. And I swear to God, he perfected it her two times in a row. She took Dal Sim and was just doing like low punch, low punch. I knew that we were in for a, a damn massacre when she did low punch and he blocked. I was like, this guy's like, I don't think I've ever seen a 40 year old man block in a fighting game before. It was like crazy that he, he knew what he was doing. And then he just like started spacing her out with uh, Hadoukens. Then she jumped in and he hit her with a dragon punch. I was like, this guy knows what the fuck he's doing. This guy, he's, he's, he's been a, a shark the whole damn time. Okay, start game. I'm ready. Oh no. <laughs> Amazing. It is a little loud. I'm kind of insane with it. Oh, whoa, whoa! What a game. Whoa, next room. Dude, honestly, the transition from room to room goes kind of hard. No, it's not connected! I didn't get it. I'm missing some. I'm embarrassed to say. I'm, I missed like three there. Stop moving! Are you kidding me? Oh, oh my god. I, I can't do it. I can't. I, I, it's too much. It, whatever. At least we're free. I'll take it. I don't know if we deserved it, but I'll take it. The hell is this? Is a lady gonna pop out of the cake? It's a camera. It's not a camera. It's... It's an elaborate joke. It has another smaller camera that came out of the top of it. a laser beam okay and it's pointed over there and let me guess a shortcut okay okay Miyazaki Miyazaki's influence knows no bounds it's still not done the hell man it's still going this must be like an elaborate witness joke right This one I don't fully get. <laughs> We've powered the solar generator. Incredible. Games truly are art. Yo! Another shortcut. But what the heck? Where did you want me to go? Have I now completed the game? I don't like standing next to that machine, man. It's got one of those, like, uh... It does sound like a binaural beat. Like, it sounds like if you listen to this for too long, you'll feel, like, the effects of heroin and cocaine simultaneously in your brain. Go to the solar panel. Okay, I'm gonna go to the solar panel. The solar panel. The solar, p I'm gonna go to the solar panel. Ah, the solar panel. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. A failure to plan. 
is a plan to fail. <laughs> you start there. I'm thinking, okay? Then you go here. You gotta work with me for a second. Then you go around the outside. How are we going to get to the hourglass now? That makes no sense to me. <laughs> I think I have to restart. So it should be moon, this triangle, you, 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 you. I feel like it should be that. That sounds right to me. Why? Based on number of vertexes. It's like two, four, five. That's seven, six. Eight. You guys are crazy. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's this, this, this. This, this, this. It goes... Yeah. <laughs> They're all agreeing with you? What are you talking about? When I look at chat, all I see is question marks. Maybe I have like a, a disorder. So let's start with the interim lines. Like it should be like, yeah. And then we got to get from here. The hard part for me is the maze, obviously. From here, all the, all the way back to this son of a gun right here, okay? Then, it's your, it's your, it's your ass. And then it's your ass. And then... I really thought that was going to work. I thought we could just connect it to the S at the end. I guess I needed to make sure the S connected to the, to the moon first somehow. Okay, we'll try it again, okay? S to the moon. Anaksuna moon. To this. All the way around the outside. Stay connected. to a little foot. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, how is this gonna happen? How am I gonna get back over?
You know what? Hold on. Double back. Little foot. You. It's the most advanced maze I've ever seen. What if we do it like this? I mean, we should be able to take this same lane multiple times. As long as we keep our lines really close to the edge, right? That makes sense. Like this, this looks better to me. I think I got it. There's a little gap. Okay, thank you, thank you. A little gap. That's why you always proofread your work. Take me around this way. Around this way. Close me in. There must be another gap. A little gap somewhere? Near the E. Help is next to the E. What? I thought it was I thought it was good. I got to trace through the whole damn maze again. One say I'm more of an original Hey, I'm more of an original artist. So tracing does not come naturally to me. Saved, saved, saved. Yo, I'm a genius. Yo, I'm stupid. Okay, one second. You gotta change your perspective, okay? To get the S and the E in an area with 100% grass. Oh, never mind. He is doing it. He is not doing it. Okay. But then, hold on, okay, we're back. Just gotta go around the whole outside edge here. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Okay, have fun. Okay, I'm on the grass. Once we, okay, cancel me. S, we go on the grass. Platform, platform, platform. Up, bridge. In between the two planters. That will not work. Onto the chessboard. 
eugenius. But we have a problem on a chessboard. Because a chessboard always has the black squares adjacent to the white squares. Oh, we can use the king to get to the shield up on the this, okay, and then over the plant down onto the grass across the barrels No! I right clicked by accident! Okay, okay Across the bridge Now you can do it in no time flat Look at this Chessboard, king, shield Over the grass Onto the grass Over the detritus Like that Hey, saved, saved. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. We're in the third act. What's the stones of reflection? Okay. Oh wait, it's a giant cop. Great moment. Oh, is that the end of the game? It was very well done, honestly. For a little mini game, lampooning the, the witness. Very clever. I see your witty little owns. I love this. Every time I finish a game, I'm like, hey, where'd you get that bush with small round leaves? And could you show me the creative licensing on it, please? Hey, whoa, 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 just curious. Where'd you get the wizard's book cover? Could you give me a link? I'd love to check out that link. Oh, yo, Kevin McLeod. Classic. Cunning plan by Congus Bongus. Included as a work in the public domain. Congus bongus. I know, like, creative con- Like, maybe this is a bad take. But, um... I get that Creative Commons requires licensing. But it does seem kind of silly to me. I'm not saying don't give credit. I'm just saying... I can't think, by the way, while, while Beethoven's playing. It just overwhelms my senses. It's like, I get that it's good to... Whoa, 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 whoa. They gave me an achievement for that one. <laughs> Have you seen it? It's hilarious. It's called uh, The Witness Dubbed Over with Spaces Between Each of the Words. Fuck that. Probably got no games. Oh, and it just closes. Honestly, it's kind of incredible. Especially considering he's not even supposed to be here. Look, all I'm saying about the Creative Commons stuff, music is whatever. Maybe you hear the song and you go, I'd love to know what the song is. But like round bush texture, come on. Does that have to be in the credits? I mean, legally speaking, maybe, but... 
Nobody is finishing the damn game and they're like, oh, dude, I would love to use that round bush texture. Always credit when you use someone else's work? Yeah, but you motherfuckers are like, you should always credit when you use someone else's work. Then you go see a movie in the theaters that's not a Marvel movie. As soon as the credits start to roll, you walk the fuck out to beat the rush. People go watch The Northman. Half the audience has only seen Marvel movies in theaters for the past 10 years, so they sit through all the credits hoping that there's going to be a scene where like Ethan Hawke shows up uh, as the May Queen or something like that. You're not sitting there going, oh, that's who was the key grip on this motherfucker. You're walking the, the fuck out. You damn liars. Still crediting them? Well, you put them in the credits. I'm just saying, like, nobody see you. That's why you got to respect Marvel movies. They put something after the credits so that everybody stays for the credits. That's why I know who the director of casting is. It's why you got to respect them. I'm in the credits for some movies and I still walk out. Well, I have to imagine, like, if you, because it's just a job, right? If you were, like, one of the editors on a huge movie when the movie's over you're probably like i'm gonna get the fuck out of the theater i don't need to see my name in the like i'm gonna wait sit in a chair for 15 minutes just to see text on the screen that is my name i'll just open my damn wallet look at my driver's license No, they should not put the credits at the start, okay? Because how do you know if the movie's good if they put the credits at the start? At least at the end, if the movie's amazing, you can be like, thank you for your service, Mr. Best Boy. At the start, I don't want to sit through the credits. Maybe you did kind of a shit job. <laughs> 